First thing you need to do is open up your computer case. After that you need to find an open PCI card slot. Next is uh, place the four port video capture card in one of the open PCI card slots. Put it into place here. Slowly work it back and forth. After that just put the one screw in to fasten it to the computer chassis and, and that's it. You have your card installed. Once you've booted up the ZM Large Live CD, you're going to be installing the uh, ZM Large uh, to your hard drive. Uh, permanently, and whatever was on your whatever's on your hard drive is going to be completely wiped out. Uh, just keep that in mind. But uh, by the default installer, um, it'll wipe out your hard drive and install the uh, ZM Larch. So first of all, click on the icon, one click for the install Arch Linux. This will bring up the installer. And at this point, just uh, click on OK. And most of the, th everything really is going to be just default. Um, just go with uh, the default uh, settings here. So. Basically, uh, first of all, it says it's an unrecognized disk. Um, you need to uh, needs to for be formatted. Click yes, and um, recognize the, the disk that I have here. Uh, doing this in a virtual environment, but uh, it's going to be the same thing that when you do it on your machine. Just go with default settings. Click OK. Uh, click OK once again uh, and this is going to uh, format format the drive again everything that was on your drive is going to be wiped out so keep that in mind uh, that hopefully backed up the data that you needed so uh, click yes and uh, going through the procedure formatting Okay, it's going to want your confirmation that you want to do this. Okay, go ahead with the default setting, click OK. And this uh, will take a while. Uh, basically, it's uh, formatting it in the uh, different partitions and then putting down the uh, putting operating system in place, copying the files. Fast forward, now that all the files have been copied to your hard drive, click OK. And now just uh, enter in a password. It's costing, you know, calling for an administrative password. Just type in one. And, uh, of course, it's going to be the same. Click OK. And now, uh, bootloader configuration, just click OK to that. Finish up. And now you're finished. Now installed the ZM Large uh, operating system on your hard drive. Once you have the Pico 2000 uh, is card installed and you are now um, having the ZoneMinder uh, Large CD installed, you 
then since booted it up and this is your uh, main desktop screen you then now need to click on the bottom zone minder and click on zone minder console now at this point you'll be presented a, uh, a window to uh, donate to zone minder um, by default you can like to donate now but uh, you can uh, change that to whenever you want a week or not uh, um, don't want to donate but uh, I'll just change it to be reminded in a week and I'll hit apply and it won't bother you for a week but uh, next thing you need to do once the console uh, is coming up uh, the web page of your um, that you configure your your uh, card to and your cameras. Uh, first thing you do is go to uh, click uh, under source, click this first line, and this brings up uh, the settings for the first uh, camera. Um, the first thing you want to do is uh, where it says maximum frames per second, just uh, highlight that and click that out, and uh, so it's going to be uh, just open ended. Um, next thing you do is click on source. At this point, um, for this uh, for the particular card, the Pico two, uh, 2000, uh, the first uh, setting is correct, um, where it says uh, slash dev slash video zero, leave that the same. Um, the capture method, go to the drop down and uh, make that video for Linux version one. Next thing you do, device channel, leave that at zero, device format. Change that to NTSC and a capture palette. Change that to RGB 24. And now for the capture width, change that to 352. And uh, the height of it, change that to 288. And then click save. Now that's set up for the first port of your video capture card. Your next is to uh, add uh, new monitor. You're going to need to click that. Uh, now, now uh, by default that uh, maximum frames per second is uh, just blanked out and uh, that's what we want. And uh, here would you would change your names of your uh, uh, where it says na name monitor 2. You can change that to whatever uh, camera that it's going to be uh, receiving the video from uh, backyard whatever in the house um, you just change the name whatever you want to do but I'm just leaving that uh, for by default right now and the next thing you do is click on the source and at this point now you need to uh, put a zero in the device path um, add that and then again back down to uh, drop down for video Linux one and what you need to do now is change the channel to channel one instead of zero for the second camera. Next thing is uh, NTSC for format. Capture palette is uh, correct. Um, that's our GP24. And then uh, you know the capture width, change that to 352. It's now in a default drop down, um, drop down menu. And now this needs to be 228. You can pick that, 288, excuse me. And uh, is that, and then uh, hit save. And this is now for the second camera. Should show up, which it did. And now we have the uh, third camera. Uh, again, leave this uh, too much default, except you want to change the name of what this uh, monitor is, what it's going to be monitoring. Um, change that later. Click on source. And you need to put a zero in at the end, in the device path. Change this again to Linux version 1, and now change this to uh, the number 2 for the third port. Um, and uh, device is NTSC, leave the uh, color palette RGB 24, and change this to 352 and 288 here, and click save. 
camera. And uh, one moment. So the third camera should uh, pop up. Entirely okay, and now just to add the last one. Go back, go to the source tab, and again add a zero. And um, to the device path, Linux version one. I change this to device channel three. And device format, I make that NTSC. Um, and uh, RGB 24, I leave that the same. Take this 352 by 288. And uh, there you have it. Uh, click save. The fourth camera will now appear. appear. Um, it should be done. It's, the settings should be correct. And uh, these will hold uh, indefinitely until you change them however you see fit. Uh, the other setting that you need to take care of uh, right away is uh, go to options. This is where you have uh, much more configuration uh, settings, um, but uh, the one that's important for this uh, Pico 2000 card is now to go to configuration. Click on the config and what you want to do is uncheck the V4L multi buffer. Check that, and um, the other thing is to uh, where it says capture per frame. You want to change that number from one to a number two, and um, that uh, affects your cameras. And uh, sometimes you get bleed over from the other uh, one of the other cameras. Uh, I'm showing you a video on both uh, both cameras, which obviously you don't want. And if you, you need to change that to a two. And if it's still occurring, um, you need to raise that maybe to three, possibly four, depending on your computer hardware um, and the memory in it. Uh, uh, two should work, um, and uh, you should have no problem there. It should uh, run properly. So next thing you do is hit save, and window comes up. Uh, these changes may not come in effect fully while the system is running. Uh, basically, you need to restart the zone minder. And what you need to do to restart it is click uh, now cancel since you've already saved it once. That'll bring you back up to the main uh, web page GUI of the cameras. Um, now just uh, come up here and click uh, where it says running. Click that icon. Now just uh, instead of stop, you can hit restart. And then, uh, and then hit apply, and that uh, basically and restarts zone minder, uh, running all over again, restarting it, and uh, and, and take uh, in effect the, the settings that we uh, did change. Now, once this comes uh, back up and running, you should now be able to see uh, all the cameras. Um, what you need to do uh, to see the cameras is either one at a time would be to uh, click uh, or under the name, click the camera. Uh, right now, this is not uh, going to show my cameras because I'm not. I'm doing this in a uh, virtual environment off my desktop to record this, and I don't have uh, the, uh, the card plugged into uh, this machine, so. Here you would see the video and the live video uh, occurring, and um, you uh, can close this uh, window down. You can check each individual camera by going down, uh, obviously by clicking the, under the name. But if you want to see a view of all the cameras at once, you hit montage, and um, what you would do, um, obviously you could see the cameras going down. Uh, running up and down, but you can change the uh, default view to uh, two wide grid and this will then give you all four of your cameras here at uh, once in this uh, uh, in this type of display.